Okay guys, the next day, this is actually July the 4th on a Sunday and um, hope everyone had a great or is having a great Independence Day and happy birthday America, amen. So guys, yesterday uh, we're not filming every little detail like I explained earlier. Uh, my wife actually didn't want to be on camera. So we showed this wall we had up, so yesterday my wife was off when we got out of here and we finished this wall here. We got this wall framed and we got this wall. So we have all the walls framed. And um, so today we've made a, a decision and we've changed it. And I'll get the little selfie and walk up here and show you why. We decided not to um, do a roof with, uh, with tin and uh, just more cost. We spent some money on wood already. So we're actually just gonna take these rafters that we have and turn them, uh, bring them down. And then we're just gonna hardware cloth over the entire top of the uh, run. And then eight foot, which is right here, we're gonna take and do a canvas covering. So they'll have eight foot of covering, plus they have covering up under the coop, which is 10 by 10. So that's 12 inches off the ground. So they can go up under that. We're gonna do predator apron around that. And then this half will be in the sun or whatever. So we decided to make that decision and cut down on cost, but also a little bit easier to work with, just making it flat across. It still does have an angle. So we, we did do a, a pitch, but that's okay because the water will still run off a of canvas if you pull it tight enough. So I'll be back, and so I'm gonna do these rafters today, and I'll just film all of that, and then we're gonna do bracing in between here, and then uh, all the way braces here up to four foot. Our hardware cloth is 48 inches, so it'll go up to here, and then we'll split the difference and go to the rest of the way. So we'll only have two rolls. So I'll be back with that, and we'll continue, and hopefully I'll get this done today. See you in a minute. So what I decided to do until Patty can help me with the top of those rafters is I'm cutting all of my uh, bracing to go in between here. So I just got these uh, kind of fitted in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and span here and this is where my hardware cloth will, uh, will go up to and it'll, it'll split four foot, it'll split the middle of this and then we'll overlap the other piece over that. So I'm gonna get these measurements and uh, see what we got right here what I did is I just popped me a line because this ground's not level as long as this top line is level with all the rest of them you can adjust your hardware cloth
that's pretty that's pretty strong right there all right so got all my bracing all the way around i'm going to take a break this is fourth of july i'm going to take a break and i'm going to go make my wife some steaks new york strips baked potato and a salad you can't get much american than that we'll see you on the next segment and uh we'll probably be doing the joist i mean the uh top plates across okay see you then okay guys welcome back this is the next day right after july the fourth we made a few changes on the uh roof and we decided not to put um tin and run the rafters uh with the uh, i'll just get up there and show you so let me come back and show you what the changes are and then i'm going to get to it so this was our first plan and we just put one up so we had these up like this with a little three and a half inch overhang and then we we're going to put 10 on that but and you see back there it's about a 12 inch overhang but we decided to change it because we're gonna we're just gonna leave the top open and we're gonna put a tarp over it so what we did is we went to the inside right there as you can see with those little hangers and uh just got one in and uh it's like this the hardware cloth will just go right over the top here and uh, then we'll brace in between here we'll run bracing in between here purlins all the way down on each side so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get all these hangers in and then cut the boards and uh, we'll go from there Okay guys, I think I'm gonna call it a day. So we got those uh, rafters on and all the braces and hangers on. Got this secured pretty good. I'm still gonna steady it up a little bit uh, with some, with some uh, and I may put braces on the outside here and put them into the ground just to hoe cause the wind comes from the west always to the east. So I'll be back tomorrow and get that hardware cloth on all the way around we should have enough to get all the way around the whole uh outer walls i think we got to order just a little bit for the top once we get that done i will uh put the predator apron down and get this sealed off around the coop and we'll be ready to let the chickens out in this for the first time still got a little bit more work i got to cut a chicken door i'm just going to do a manual door put it on a pulley put a little string over there pull it up and down for now until i can get an automatic door got to put the coop door in it's out there in the greenhouse and so i will see you on the next part of this uh chicken run build okay guys i got all of those braces in those little hangers all the way down all secured with screws got all that done so that's how that looks got all the uh rafters hung so that's done all right Next thing I'm going to do, we're getting close to uh, putting the hardware claw. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some rebar down because this thing is not, you know, there's no post in the ground that's attached to. And it's, it's pretty uh, sturdy. 
But I'm gonna put some rebar here, rebar here, and all the way to about here, because the rest of that is under the ground. Okay, let's see if we can get one rebar in the ground there. Hopefully we can. That'll do it. Okay, everybody. It's the next day and you can probably hear that wind blowing. Um, got the first piece of hardware cloth up right here. This is gonna be the 32 inch door, went up really well. And I'm using the, those lath screws with the washer on them. And so I just cut this one and uh, I'm cutting it with my Dremel. And boy, it's wearing out the blades about every 48 inch cut, it wears a blade out. So I'm getting ready to put this up and uh, I'll film a little bit of it and then uh, we'll go from there. Get it all the way to this way and I may have to stop because of the rain. Okay guys, it's getting ready to rain. So I got my clamps up. I'll come back after it rains and continue. See you in a minute. where we left off yesterday and uh, early this morning I'm up and I wanted to walk around and show you what I got done yesterday. I finally got all of the hardware cloth put on the run. So uh, just walk around and show you what I did. Got to put my door up. These chickens are just started to lay, the first chicken laid an egg yesterday after 18 weeks. I bought two rolls of 48 by 100 and I haven't used even half of that one but I've still got an apron to do. That apron actually is gonna go over here on this side. Got all this done yesterday. As you can see, I used those uh, lath screws. It works out really well, three quarter inch, since I didn't have a crown stapler. Finished this last piece last night, about 7.30. All I gotta do is dig this out with the uh, little tiller a little bit deeper to get my apron in. Got all that done up there. All the top. That took a while up there. So got all this secured over here. Got to take that little piece, piece of plywood down. That's what I used to get up here to staple that little piece of plywood is what I used to uh, move around up here so I could screw in all these screws. So all the top hardware cloth, half inch all the way. Done. So this morning, I'm gonna get over here and till this out since that dirt's kind of hard and get my apron down right here, predator apron. Get all this cleaned out all the way around. And then what I'm going to do, because I got to get these chickens out in this run, I'm just going to go ahead and make me a little frame and put some hardware cloth and an apron right here. But eventually I'm going to probably cut a hole in the hardware cloth about two feet so they can get up under there and then while I got them out here and I can clean the coop I'm going to run the apron all the way around here and enclose all this back here so I'll enclose all this and run right around here in the back here's my rain barrels so I'll enclose it and tie it into the uh, to the run over here. So that's what I'm gonna do today and I'll film a little bit of it and I'll be back. 
This piece is a little too short wide, but I had it. So I may extend it and overlap it and put some stakes in the ground. So basically this is how it's gonna go. And I'm gonna get those uh, roofing uh, things with the little washers on them. What I'm doing is I'm just, uh, I'm tacking this so I can get it bent in place. And then I'm gonna run it all the way and then I'll cut this L shape and then I'll overlap it right here. Uh, like I said, this piece is not gonna be long. It might be okay, but I'm gonna extend it a little bit. I've got a little piece over here. I'm trying to use up all the hardware cloth that I had. So what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll add this right here. So I'm gonna get all that done. And uh, over here, you can see I'm gonna run it all the way here. So I'm gonna get that in and then all the way around and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. And then uh, we'll get it staked in the ground. I'm gonna pull this uh, apron over here. I already cut it. So my hardware cloth was uh, 48 inches, so I just split it down the middle and cut two pieces at two foot. It's a long cut. So there we go. Got them all laid out. So now I'm gonna I'll show you after I get it all bent up. I'll bend it right here and start with one piece. Once you get one piece uh, intact, you can kind of go along with your foot and bend it up. And then this will lay further down. And then I'll just, I'll, what I'll do is I'll take some mistakes and stake it about every four feet. Then I'll cover this up. So I'll be back. These chickens are starting to lay eggs. They're ready to get out and get in this run. Okay guys. Here's what we got done. Got this apron all secured and stapled down in the ground. I mean, uh, staked down all the way around. I'm gonna replace those stakes with some that'll sit in there more flush. All the way around here. Got all the corners overlapped. It's about 18 inches out. And I use roofing uh, nails with those little washers on them. Got all this done. Got all this done right here. So, got a nice apron. And once I get a few more uh, stakes, I'll cover this up with dirt and grass will grow back through that. Okay, so the next thing we gotta do Patty's out here helping. There's a pretty girl up under there sunbathing, taking a dust bath. So see, we got the apron there. So we're gonna work on a, we're gonna leave this open eventually, but we gotta get these chickens out into this run. So we're gonna put hardware cloth here temporarily and put a base down cause they're not gonna be left out here at night. We're gonna do a temporary setup until we get the perimeter around the uh, coop done and then we'll just cut a hole in that so they can go up under the coop and have more room. So that's what we're gonna do next. Okay guys, we finally got the run done. We got a few things to do and I'm walking around and show you what we did. So we got the apron done. We also got the apron done under there. We just gotta get some more stakes. Just stake that out. We're gonna put some uh, dirt right here in gravel got the door on uh, we got the handle we just got to get a latch for the inside and it's spring loaded so it closes but we also want to put a little latch in there so we got all the hardware cloth up I'm gonna take this fence wood and line the bottom and I'll do that on another project it's not a big deal so all of our apron Patty was covering that up so there's uh, everything done there. So the apron's down and now I'm gonna trim that out with that fence wood. Patty covered all the apron up. Got a few spots here to cover up and a few stakes to put in. 
Got all this done over here. Everything is uh, looking good. All the apron is covered up here. Just got to throw some dirt on that. Got that done in there, and that's what that looks like. So I'll walk you around the inside. So we put a couple of the chickens in here just to see what they would do. <laughs> so the inside, that's how we did that apron. And uh, we may cut a hole through there so they can go up under there and then, then put the apron on the outside of the coop. But we, we got to get them. We had to get them out. So they're out in the new run. I only got like three of them out here. There's pretty girl. And uh, so all that's done. So we got the predator apron here and the door in. We'll, we're going to put a little latch right here. So when you come in, you can just latch it. And I got to put that, finish this. We got to get some more screws for the hardware cloth. So we got a few things to do. So there it is, guys. Finally finished. And I tilled all this up and leveled it and got all the dirt uh, leveled. And it's coming out pretty good. It's a lot better than it was. And I also did this extra. I staked it down with rebar and put clamps like that all the way around, just on the ends. But it's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. Once you get that hardware cloth on there, it's pretty good. So I just put three of the girls out here. Two of them laid eggs today. So I'll be back with a full opening once I get that door in there but the run is finished and I'll be back to wrap this video up okay guys wrapping the video up this is the end of part two finally got it finished and uh, I did the little walk around for you already seen it and uh, we'll be doing another video on it when the chickens get in there and I get the chicken uh, door cut in so thanks for joining us and thanks for watching uh, our videos as always. And uh, we appreciate you coming to our channel, like and share if you can. And we really appreciate it. And we will see you on the next video. And that will probably be when we let the chickens in the run. We'll see you then. Tony Ray and Patty right here at our Backwoods Homestead.